not just the space watchers, but billion others around the world had their eyes towards the sky as the huge Chinese Long March 5B rocket booster, known to be the cornerstone of China's space ambitions, was plummeting to Earth in an uncontrolled descent on Sunday, May 9, 2021. China launched its first space station on Thursday, April 28, the first of 11 missions. The core element of the Chinese space station launched to Earth orbit from the Wencheng spacecraft launch site on the island of Hainan. The 54-foot-long or 16.6 meters module known as Tiahi, or Harmony of the Heavens, was the first space station component to launch. It would be joined in low Earth orbit later by two slightly smaller elements, forming a T-shaped space station that China aims to complete by the end of 2022. The rocket carried Tiahi made its way into orbit and once its engines were shut down, was captured by Earth gravity. The US military gave it a code name 2021-035B. It was roughly 30 meter long, 5 meter wide, 170 by 372 kilometer altitude orbit, traveling at more than 7 kilometers per second. Each rotation around the Earth brings it closer in altitude to a point where it will ultimately collide into the atmosphere, setting the stage for one of the largest ever uncontrolled re-entries. Since 1990, nothing over 10 tons has been deliberately left orbit to re-enter uncontrolled. However, the Long March 5B core stage is set to weigh about 21 tons. It is potentially not good, said Jonathan Magdwell, astrophysicist at the Astrophysics Center at Harvard University. But Magdwell says some pieces of the rocket will survive re-entry and that would be the equivalent of a small plane crash scattered over 100 miles. The Chinese rocket is one of the most massive artificial objects to make an uncontrolled return to Earth since 1991, when Russia's derelict Salyut space station broke up in the sky over Argentina. The core stage was traveling at roughly 18,000 miles an hour and orbiting around Earth once every 90 minutes. Its orbit was gradually decaying as it interacts with Earth's upper atmosphere, meaning it is decreasing in altitude and slowing down. But that rate of decay was depending on multiple factors, not all of which were known to scientists. For instance, the thickness of the atmosphere, the strength of its headwinds, and some dynamics within its various layers determined in part by solar activity. Even a half hour's uncertainty in timing could have meant the difference between crashing in South America or landing in the ocean. The rocket's general entry point in the atmosphere was clearly unknown and kept changing since the time and location of re-entry was variable. In spite of all the technologies available to man, the word uncontrolled and out of control seemed to be repeated when reading the news about the lost in a space rocket. Ironically, they named the rocket Tiahi, which means harmony of the heavens, did anything but keeping the harmony of heavens. I wonder if the name is mocking them after this rocket. Man was standing paralyzed in spite of the might of knowledge and basically stating the obvious. I am not in control, or we lost the control. The words of the prophet Isaiah echoes, saying, Lift up your eyes on high and see, who created these? He who brings out their host by number, calling them by name, 
by the greatness of his might and because he is strong in power and not one thing is missing. I wish we, the millennials, would lift up our eyes and look at the creator and the designer of the space, stars, and planets. Our galaxy contains over a hundred million stars. The Bible says that God calls them by their names and none of them can go missing. He knows them by name. He is counting each one and more importantly, no one can go missing. Disasters like the one we faced pass, thankfully without any significant harm. But I wonder if it is yet another lesson from nature. Man may lose control, but God never does. Unlimited in power, unrivaled in majesty, God is in complete control of all circumstances, causing or allowing them for his own good purposes and plans to be fulfilled exactly as he has foreordained. He is always in control. My dear brothers and sisters, will we keep placing more faith in the technologies we create while we have less faith in the superpower who is holding every star, every planet in its orbit and in a very tight system? You know that we are in the perfect spot in our solar system for life to continue to exist. Close enough, but not too far. A perfect spot. When we contemplate all this which God created, it brings to mind Psalm 8. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him, the son of man that you care for him? While creating this amazing universe, God placed man on top of all his creation. He is his masterpiece. He wants man to explore and know the mysteries he created. But could man be humble enough to realize that he is not in full control? As we were keeping our heads up towards the sky, awaiting the falling of the debris of the rocket, let us use this time to look up to the Creator, to the one who holds it all in the very palm of his hand, and pray on our knees until the eyes of heaven see us and the ears of heaven hear our cry for his mercy and his protection for the world and all mankind. You see, only God is in control. Let us not forget.